One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome back to the Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. Uh, let's play for PC, whatever the fuck, part five. Uh, as we've established last episode that I am running out of things to say about this game, so... I'm forced to talk about stuff other than the game to keep this video entertaining. <laughs> so let's go ahead and hit up Mission 9, B Bathy OS, alright. New operating system by uh, Apple, Bathy OS. Uh, it's a <laughs> iPad like that you can um, take a bath in. So, yeah, let's go ahead and hit this up. Uh, as I think of some... Oh, cutscene. <laughs> a beautiful sight, Booster, but an ugly situation. The Bathiosians have a serious smuggling problem. Frickin' Patrick Warburton's voice, man. I cannot get enough of it. <laughs> I cannot get enough of it at all. This is a pretty long ass cutscene. Usually there are a couple like, maybe like 10 seconds. That, that right there had at least been like, I don't know, 30? <laughs> But apparently this game is crossing over with the Little Mermaid now. Uh, oh, we're gonna be underwater? So that'll be cool. I think. I, uh... Right, black man, <gasps> yeah, we're gonna be swimming! I believe the correct term is African-American fin. Yeah, we're swimming! That's sweet, I can swim! This, this game just got a little bit better now. I must say the side quests are incredibly frustrating. Because they're all, like, time trial based. And there's so many things in this game that are designed to just slow you down. And why does the camera have to be, like, right up Buzz's ass? Like, I can barely even see <laughs> past him. And this big fucking suit that he's wearing is, like, ten times larger than the suit he normally wears. So it's really hard to see past him. Yeah, we're in. We're underwater here. So we're looking fish. And uh, once again, I'm out of things to talk about, so we're just gonna go ahead and talk about. Uh, what the hell? Why did the water go all brown? <laughs> oh, hi. I'm I'm sorry, Peter. I uh, I'm gonna have to go. Oh, I just took a wet duke. <laughs> uh, I've, I've stretched that Patrick Warburton impression like beyond its limits. What do you guys think of it? I think... I know it's not perfect. I can, I can do a, a slew of different voices. I can do um, Mario and Luigi, as you've heard before. I can do Patrick Warburton. I mean, they, they pretty much have him do the same exact voice in, like, every part that he's ever played, which I don't mind. I, I like, like the sound of his voice, and he's just a good voice actor. He always puts, like, a bunch of energy into his performance, even though he's pretty much just playing... Not, not the same character, but the same type of voice every time. I really would like to hear him in a part in like voice acting where he doesn't just do just a more exaggerated version of his natural voice and wow that was a really short level that was a really short level like wow like the first level that is like actually kind of different it's just like like 30 seconds long okay how difficult is this gonna be now because th these bosses are incredibly hard to aim at because they just aggro on you and you like can't get any distance between them, but now we're underwater. Okay. Uh, actually, it's not that hard. Well, I mean, if you tap the fucking arrow like one side for like one second, Buzz just goes like in a complete nine degree turn. So you can, it's impossible to like strafe or aim or something. I guess I'll grab a shield or the crossbow. I don't need the crossbow. It's just my green gun. I hate how they take away the music for the boss battle. It makes it so anticlimactic. Oh, crikey, mate. Of course they gave him a, a stereotypical Australian accent. As a, as a voice I cannot do, by the way. I can't do an Australian accent. That was the Flying Dutchman. <laughs> the dude who plays the Flying Dutchman. And also Hank Hill's barber in King of the Hill. A lot of different voice actors in this game that I've been recognizing. Uh, well, okay, two. Just Patrick Warburton and the, the Flying Dutchman dude. 
So yeah, that, that's, that's a level down. I guess we'll go ahead and skip to the next level. Uh, I've, been, I've been... I guess we're back on... Going back to Flamer. Uh, can I... Yep, I got 29, 25 medals, so... <gasps> that's the dude from the freaking spin-off movie! Looks like your old partner, Warp Dark Matter, is That's the freaking dude! What that that was like the bad guy from the freaking... Uh... Like, from like the original movie. Spin-off. You know... Like the the straight to video, that's the dude. That's the dude. If, dark matter. I'll be your hijacker tonight. You and he sounds like Master Chief. That's awesome. <laughs> oh snap. Shit just got real. That's right. Oh, this is gonna be fucking epic. It, uh, is it the last mission then? I think there's 14 planets, or 14 separate missions in all, but we'll see. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <this> light year, <laughs> I tire of you. And I tire of your <laughs> Oh my god, they did not at all do a good job of, like, making his, mo <laughs> making his model. At all. You, you see his fucking derpy ass face, too? <laughs> I mean, look at that shit, we just like, you know? <laughs> I guess I gotta chase him down. He runs at pretty much the same speed that I do, so I doubt I'll be able to get there before him, but... I'll at least be, be able to get there in time. I'm losing health quicker, holy shit. I guess the enemies do uh, more damage now. I guess I'm a bit later in the game now. I'm uh, mission 10 of 14, so... I'm pretty sure this is 14 mission. I'm pretty sure this is the last mission. Because on the back of the box of this game, it says there's 14 missions, so... I hate these slug things that are on your head, because they make you, like, behave weird. Uh... Is it a good idea to walk across this? I don't know. No, I'm, just, I'm just getting hurt by it, but I don't care. Because you can take, like, 10 million hits. I'm gonna catch this guy. I'm surprised the, the little green guys didn't get their own spin-off movie. <laughs> kind of glad they didn't. You don't even need the jetpack. Like, it has never proved useful at all. Teleporter. Sweet. Can I get in the teleporter? Can I Can I get in the teleporter? There we go. Can I? It, it doesn't work. Alright, cool. <laughs> it doesn't fucking work. I've got this health kit. Apparently shit's pretty real right now. There's a coin right here, but... Oh, never mind. I guess you do kind of need it. The enemies just popped in out of nowhere. <laughs> Shit, I'm about to grab a lot of cash here. Ah, uh, there's a bomb somewhere. Where is it at? Uh, it's probably in front of me, I assume. But I, I have been kind of taking a long time to... Yep, there it is. Yep, that was it. It's pretty epic music, though. I'm going to say all the music in this game, except for, like, this song. It sounds like the music from, like, Toy Story Racer. <laughs> Maybe it's should like a Let's Play series on that game. That's, a, that's actually a fun game. <laughs> it actually was a pretty good game. It's right here, though. It's just... It's a pretty tedious game. Only good thing... Of, I'm missing a bomb. Am I? No? I... The arrow's pointing backwards, but I'm pretty sure it's in front of me. Maybe it's just pointing backwards because, like, the, the trail's kind of, like, curved. Now it's pointing in front of me. Yeah, I I really hope that it's in front of me. If not, then you know that means we gotta restart the mission again. Twenty seconds. Please tell me that's the bomb in question. Yes, it is. Good. All right, we got the hoverboard, so shit just got real. By the way, if you actually own like one of those stupid like real life hoverboards in real life, go fuck yourself. I mean, really. They first of all, they're dangerous. They're cheaply made. They go walking speed. Like, like, their maximum speed is walking speed. So, like, the, the only reason anyone has those is to show off the fact that they can afford to have them. But, like, they're completely useless. So, yeah. Maybe I should make a rant video about that. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should have mentioned that in, like, my What Grinds My Gears video. I don't fucking know. I got this one, Buzz. Oh, I beat him there. Sweet. Alright. The maybe final showdown? I don't know. But we're... No, wait, no, the final level is probably against Zerg. Yeah. 
I would assume. Okay, your first shield was trash. Your second shield was trash. And you are trash. You are absolute trash. He doesn't even have a gun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sucked. You suck. Horribly. You deserve that. <laughs> you were ready to you were ready to fight it all. My cabbages are uh Oh, peavy and slug guano. That's just great light year. Do you have any idea how much this suit costs? You have the right to remain smelly. Yeah. I'll take it down to the Goog police station. Alright, so oh we only need twenty more twenty seven more coins to get the money bonus. Oh well. You beat that mission and Go ahead and save this game. It'll be a pretty short episode, but I feel accomplished. Yeah. Mission 11. So, yeah, there are more than that. Um, so, yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, end the episode on this right here. I'll, uh, this is Patrick Warburton signing off, Peter. I'll, I'll see you next time, Peter. Hopefully I won't take a wet duke, Peter. <laughs> see you next time.